guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, I was watching YouTube the other day, as one does when they can't sleep at night. And I came across this channel, and I cannot for the life of me remember the name of it. It's a mom and her daughter. Uh, the daughter's name was Deborah, and the mom's name is Patricia. And they have almost 600 uh, subscribers on the channel. And they do, like, junk journaling and things like that. And they were making these little double pocket envelope things. Um, and then you leave, like, writing space here on the side. But, you know, you have the tag. Um, and then, of course, you can tuck in a tag or journaling card or whatnot. Excuse me. And they use envelopes for theirs. And I thought, well, can I do the same thing with book page? Or, you know, what would it look like? I'll leave that there. So, I did. I made one with a book page, some Edith Holden paper. So we got like a little writing spot, a little tag there. The little pocket and then decorate it on the back because it it's you know floating although i suppose you could glue it down if you wanted to maybe hold it closed with a paper clip um and it really doesn't matter the size so i'm gonna try it with some music paper but first we want to kind of make an envelope and then you'll glue the flap down but leave the sides open Then you'll fold it closed and they left of course one side longer than the other and she used a tear ruler the um, this side for the book page one that she did um, I used deco edge scissors on here but for this one I think I want to use my scallop edge scissors that I use on paper which is these I've got the little um, like Fisker type ones but I just like these better okay. and I've already got a just a basic tag inked up and ready to go on that side okay but I'm gonna ink around it all the way I'm just using walnut stain oxide figured I'd show that some love for a while and then maybe go back to the vintage photo or or use scorched timber or whatever I uh, try to give a uh, give them the, each of the browns that I have love there and not use the same ones all the time although I could use my ground espresso but that's an archival one because I don't have it in the uh, oxide anymore because that pad well, I had it for a long long time and it finally bit the dust and I ran out of re-inker it wasn't holding the ink anymore because the pad was so frayed and damaged. I just haven't replaced it because I have the um, permanent one. It's the same color, so. Or, well, it, it's the same color as the regular distress ink. Um. 
Okay. So, yeah, it's right side up on one side, upside down on the other side. Doesn't matter, because you're going to cover it up anyway. I kind of like it with a little scalloped edge there. That's kind of cute. And they glue down the this, although I suppose you could glue it, glue it in a U shape or C shape. And have a little tuck spot there. So you'd have a tuck here, here, and, or a pocket here, tuck here, and a pocket here. Yeah, let's do that. For something different. Whee! So, are you guys working on anything new? Anything new going on with you guys? I hope you, those of you who are suffering from allergies are feeling better. This weather, I'm telling you, it has been strange for sure. Alright, so now we'll have a tuck there. Okay, I got some French paper here and a little bit of ledger paper left. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. So I guess it, we'll just use that. on the front. Uh, I'll put that in on the tag. Ink around this one. I still had that out on my desk from decorating the other two things. Pikachu is whining or barking at it. She's probably playing with her soda bottle. Well, it was my soda bottle, but I give it to her to play with during the daytime. And then they have to go in the trash at night. Otherwise, she'll be up all night playing with it. Keeping everybody awake. I got a, a clog in here again. Let me put up. No. I've got a little glue pin thingy here. that did any good or not. Right, flip it upside down. I want a piece of paper right here, I think, to write on. Let me grab my scraps back here. Surely I can find something. Hmm. It's hard stuff. I don't really want that.
know. It's not wanting to come out. Now that can be written on. I'll just use that since it was on my desk. kind of bluebird that is, but it's blue. Hmm. That one's pretty. These go together really quickly. Okay. Now. It's a big one. Don't think I want a big one. I mean, not a super big one, anyway. There's another. That's the same kind of bird? No. No. I don't think I want another bird. Because i got to be mindful since that's a pocket. Alrighty then. Let me see here. Do we want? No. Pretty. 
we'll leave that clear. Uh, for writing spot. I do want to stamp the word notes on there. Hang on a minute. I'll get my... I've got some... You know, these that go together. I've already got the notes together on there. They don't have to be perfect. Mm, that looks like note FS. Oh, I don't have a. I have a pencil. There we go. Good enough. I'll underline it. Alright. So I will put that back on there. Put that over there. Alright, now. It does match color wise. So So now you have, you just take the tags out of these, so you have a tag, I mean a pocket, for here, and you have a little tuck spot in here, and then a little pocket here. And you can use an envelope or you can use book page. Either one. They're all pretty. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys back here again really soon. Bye!